Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Sanjay Karol reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Sanjay Karol, Chief Justice of the Patna High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India, with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office, given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February, in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable C. Justice Sanjay Karol to take oath. I. I, Sanjay Karol, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. Right, Justice Sanjay Karol, the second senior most judge who has taken oath, was born in Shimla and obtained his law degree from the Himachal Pradesh University. He was actually born in 1961 and is an alumnus of the prestigious St. Edward's School in Shimla and was also the Chief Justice of the Patna High Court at the time of his elevation to the top court. Mr. Karol formerly served as the Chief Justice of the Tripura High Court as well. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar, Chief Justice of the Manipur High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office, given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India, signed President of India. May I now request Honorable Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar to take oath. I, I, Puligoru Venkata Sanjay Kumar, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws.
Right. Little backgrounder for you on Justice P.V. Sanjay Kumar. He assumed the office as Chief Justice of Manipur High Court back in 2021 in February. And after his early education and graduation in commerce from Nizam College from Hyderabad, Mr. Kumar actually went on to get his law degree from the Delhi University in 1988 and enrolled in the Bar Council the same year. Now, he served as the government pleader in the Andhra Pradesh High Court between the year 2000 and 2003 and was subsequently elevated as additional judge of the Telangana High Court in 2008. He has formerly also served as the judge of Punjab and Haryana High Court. Point of appointment of Honorable Chief Justice Asanuddin Amanullah reads as under... By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Ahsanuddin Amanullah, Judge of the Patna High Court, to be a Judge of the Supreme Court of India, with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Chief Justice Ahsanuddin Amanullah to take oath. I, I, Ehsanuddin Amanullah, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. A little background on Justice Esanuddin Amanullah for you. He actually belongs to an eminent family from Bihar and got his law degree from Patna Law College. He's also primarily practiced in the Patna High Court, but made appearances before the Delhi, Calcutta and Jharkhand High Court, as well as the Supreme Court. Justice Amanullah was briefly transferred to Andhra Pradesh High Court in 2021 in October before being re-transferred to the Patna High Court in June last year. <coughs> Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Manoj Mishra reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Manoj Mishra, Judge of the Allahabad High Court, to be a Judge of the Supreme Court of India, with the effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Sri Justice Manoj Mishra to take oath. I, I, Manoj Misra, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, 
that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. Justice Manood Mishra has now taken his oath. He actually obtained his law degree from the University of Allahabad in 1988 and has since practiced in civil revenue, criminal and constitutional matters. He was elevated as an additional judge of the Allahabad High Court on the, in 2011 by then President Pratibha Patil and was made permanent on the 6th of August 2013. He has served as a judge of the Allahabad High Court since then. May I have your Lordship's permission to conclude the proceedings? Yes. Uh, the court will resume work at 11.45 uh, a.m. Right, the Supreme Court gets five new judges. Chief Justices of India have administered oath of office. Three Chief Justices, Justice Pankaj Mittal, Justice Sanjay Karol and P.V. Sanjay Kumar of High Courts of Rajasthan, Patna and Manipur respectively have finally taken an oath alongside two other senior High Court judges. Now all the five names for the judgeship in the top court were recommended by the six-member Supreme Court Collegium on the 13th of December last year. The center on Saturday notified the appointment of five judges to the top court a day after the Supreme Court had expressed displeasure over the inordinate delay in the appointment of judges. Do remember, on the 31st of January, the Supreme Court Collegium recommended two more names for elevation as top court judges, Allahabad High Court Chief Justice Rajesh Bindal and Gujarat High Court Chief Justice Arvind Kumar. Yes. Congratulations, Sanjay. God bless. Yes.